year, Silence Media students were given the opportunity to work with Midhance Railway on a live brief to create a documentary for them. So we've all been given different briefs and ours is the meta documentary, so we're sort of looking at what all the students are doing, how it benefits the railway, us being involved, and it's a really great day out. Working with professional clients benefits the students on our media production courses because it's authentic, it's real. It's an opportunity for our students to work and get actual experience and understand the needs of a client. So it's very genuine and there's no better way to learn than for our students to actually experience these real world needs and briefs and respond to them creatively. Hello, I'm David. I'm a retired engineer from a whole life. I now am putting into practice things I learnt when I was probably 20. I won't tell you when that was, because it was certainly the last millennium. So I've had engineering in my blood. I've never actually done much hands-on work until the opportunity came when um, I realised there were needs here on mid Railway. My name is Jack. I'm a Steve Gelly Yorkham, calculators out, that makes me nearly 90. <laughs> that means I was born in 1928, so I lived the whole time through the war. First thing I've got to tell you is that I was never an evacuee. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what this project does so well is that it gives you the freedom to kind of create what you want. Obviously, being given limitations is like what makes a great story really like it's easier to make a story when you're like limited so them giving you the limitation of working with the railway is quite good and obviously you're you're given the the meta documentary which makes it even more limited but also it's just um you, you've been given the freedom is like probably the best part about the project is like creating your own story um, my name is Sue Dixon and I'm a volunteer with the Canadian Pacific Project, which is being run by the Watercrest Line. The Canadian Pacific Project is part funded by the Lottery Fund and, and as part of that, it is our remit is to make it more available, certainly more attractive to a different audience. And that's why we've invited students onto the site so that they can give us their perspective of our railway. I can't wait to see what the students produce. Um, they have a completely different look from us and, and they're all creative types and um, I think I'm really really looking forward to it. Uh, so what, what I've learned so far um, that I think it's really important to not be too specific on what we want from specific films and specific videos. I think we need to have a clear scope so far as what we want the outcome to be, but not be prescriptive about how to get to that outcome. You know, the, the different thoughts you've got, and particularly, you know, sort of mentioning the current environment and the fact that you're having to do this remotely, um, you know, using historical footage, using, you know, these kind of um, interviews um, over, um, you know, over, over the internet and the like. Um, you guys are having to be more creative about how do we get to that end outcome that we're looking for from a sort of a client perspective. Um, and so I think that's the main thing that I've learned is that you know we need to we need to make it clear what we want from you guys, but not how you go about doing it. Um.